Hey Siri, how not to miss any future Tech Labs video? Just go ahead and click on the bell button to be notified. Enjoy. What's going on guys? Tech here and today I decided to share with you guys my another portion of iOS 10.2 to iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak tweaks. Now, some of these are completely new to the iOS 10.2 jailbreak, some of these were updated from the iOS 9 to iOS 10 and some of these can even save your jailbreak. Guys, I hope you will enjoy this video because it's just the best tweaks which I personally use myself and I just wanted to share it with you guys because I hope you will have a better experience using iOS. Anyways guys, let's go ahead and get started and let me show you guys the tweaks and okay guys so the first tweak on the list is closely connected to the yellow 102 app and it kind of makes the whole thing more convenient because as you know you need to resign this little app once a seventh day so it's actually showing you how much time is it left until this little app will expire so now mine is valid for almost a year but you probably are signing it with a normal certificate with a normal account so it's probably valid for only seventh day and you'll exactly know when is it time to actually resign Sign it. The next tweak on the list guys is the finger touch. So this one basically activates this little sensitive ring on your home button and you don't have to physically press your home button in order to activate multitasking or jumping between the apps. So you just need to just put your finger on this button for example two times just like this. I don't actually press it with the force but it actually activates me multitasking. It kind of cool and brings this kind of a iPhone 7 experience. There is actually a couple of settings to configure and this little finger touch tweak. So uh, if you have an iPhone success with this Taptic engine, you can go ahead and set it up just I, like I have it here. So it's gonna provide this little haptic feedback and it's gonna be completely awesome. Next week guys is the Gorgon. Now this one works much, much better on the iPad. I don't personally use this one on the iPhone, but I just wanted to show it to you on my iPhone because I don't wanna carry out a huge iPad in here, but this one basically brings all of these cool, amazing features from the iPad Pro to your normal iPad. So uh, let me show you guys now a demo. So let's go ahead and jump into settings now. From here, I can go ahead and activate this little menu and now I can choose between a lot of apps on my iPhone so I can go ahead and simultaneously have them on one screen so if you go ahead and rotate your little iPhone just like here you're gonna see that we have two different apps and we can access them simultaneously on one screen by the way this is not the plus version but it's really really cool especially if you use this one for productivity purposes like having the keynote in here and having the notes in here so it's gonna be really really useful and it's week number four we have a tiny bar iOS and as you can see right up here I have a little notification right now and it basically shrinks your normal notification to this size so let me go ahead and show you guys the demo real quick so just like this if I go ahead and receive the notification so uh, now it looks something like this but when I receive a new notification it's gonna look different so as you can see now it's really clean really small and it doesn't you know like kind of protrude in here and you know covers the whole your content and all that stuff but anyways this is a nice to have tweak coming up to number five guys we have a camera mode 10 so this little tweak adds a portrait mode to any unsupported device like the iPhone 6s iPhone 6 5s any other device apart from the iPhone 7 plus as you know the portrait mode is only supported on the iPhone 7 plus because it has a a dual camera setup with a dual lens setup or something like this but right up here we have a not fully functional uh, portrait mode but just only activated in here so it doesn't actually give you any effect any bulky or blur effect but it, it's just in here it's kind of a nice to have it for you know showing off to friends or something like this but I'm just gonna leave it in here at number six guys we have a tweak called horseshoe so this one basically combines two pages from the control center into one and now you will have all of your content only on one page I mean Apple why didn't you do that <laughs> okay anyways we have every single control in here and if you want to change the volume so you can just go ahead and tap on this little icon and now you'll be changing the brightness but if you tap once again there is the volume so it basically adds a really really nice touch to your control center oh yeah guys almost forgot to say and this one also compatible with the Noctis tweak which can actually bring you the dark mode on your iPhone and it blends in really really nicely don't worry about any incompatibility issues it will work really Really, really nicely believe me guys so just like here you can disable the dark mode and enable it right away and remember guys at the beginning of the video I said about jailbreak saving so I've seen multiple reports of people deleting their Cydia application 
uh, I don't know the reason guys I don't know why they do it but uh, just in case guys I just wanted to include this little tweak in here so at the number seven we have a Cydia failsafe which can actually reinstall the Cydia once again if you if you delete it for some reason I don't know why but just go ahead and click on yes and it will reinstall the Cydia and your jailbreak will be safe number eight guys so this one actually goes from my perfect jailbroken setup video which I did last summer but guys if you're waiting for one please hit that like button I will do once again another video on the perfect jailbreak setup anyways guys this one is called the lock glyph right up here you will have this little uh, icon uh, right on top of the button of the home button so once you unlock your phone it will give you guys something like this Apple Pay animation or something like this but it looks really stunning I totally love this one as you can see that's kind of a shaking when the passcode is not right or something is not right with your home uh, home button or your finger anyways uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on this whole tweak because uh, this one is a need, believe me. Moving forward to number 9, we have a minimal HUD tweak. So, as you know guys, on your normal iOS, just like up here on the stock iOS, we have this little ringer photograph right in the middle of the display when we try to adjust the volume. But I don't actually like this one because it kind of covers all of your content on your display. So, there is a solution up here in the jailbreak world. So, we have this little bar appearing in the top of the display and it kind of indicates how much volume uh, do you set it at now at this little point. So it kind of looks much much better than this little stock solution. And finally guys we have the last tweak on the list is the lithium ion tweak and see that battery indicator in the top right corner this is thanks to this little tweak. So now there is a lot of settings to configure in here but if you're curious what I am using in this case uh, if you jump into profiles and choose this one and choose the complete now you're gonna achieve the same look as I have. So really really nice tweak. But yeah guys I think that should be pretty much it for today if you made it to the end make sure you smash the like button they'll be so so much appreciated guys and as always guys stay tuned for more content and peace out